Hello, George Romanich here. Today we are going to talk about the change of density of air with altitude. You will see that this can easily be derived using barometric formula or barometric equation and equation of state. I can already tell you that the result will be the same as in the case of the change of pressure with height, namely exponential decay. But let's see how we get that result quantitatively using barometric formula. In one of the previous videos, we derived barometric formula that tells us how the pressure is changing with height, and we discussed this in details. Here, remember that if this is height Z1, and uh, let's say here is height Z2 above the surface, so this is how height is increasing, here is pressure P1, and here is pressure P2. T average is the average temperature in the layer between Z1 and Z2, and R and G are constants. R is the ideal constant for dry air, so we are assuming that this air is completely dry, there is no water vapor. To derive how the density is changing with height, we will use again equation of state that says pressure is rho R T, Namely, equation of states relates pressure, density, and temperature. If you are not familiar with this equation, for now you will have to believe me, but in the relatively near future I will derive it explicitly when I start my playlist on kinetic theory of gases. However, I do believe that most of you are familiar with this expression from high school. So, using equation of state, I substitute here for P, and I will get that rho 2 r t average is equal rho 1 r t average e g z1 minus z2 over r t average. You can see I can cancel r t average and r t average and I get that rho 2 is equal rho 1 e g z1 minus z2 divided by r t average. And this is how density changes with height. You can see that the trend is exactly the same as the trend of the pressure. And many people that are studying atmospheric sciences probably know this already, but I wanted to have a separate video to demonstrate this explicitly, so you know that density is changing with height exponentially, namely decreasing exponentially with height. Why is it decreasing? How do we see in this equation it is decreasing? Because Z1 is smaller than Z2, that's, that means this whole thing is negative, which means rho 2 will be smaller than rho 1. So here is rho 1 and here is rho 2. I hope you remember that in uh, my video where I calculated how pressure changes with the depth in the oceans, we assume that density is constant and that is pretty good assumption because water is incompressible fluid whereas air is compressible fluid and uh, this is the reason why the density is changing, decreasing exponentially in height. First, we use barometric formula and equation of state to demonstrate something obvious, that the change of density in the atmosphere is the same as the change of pressure, follows the same trend. And then I demonstrated something else that is pretty obvious, that the air is compressible fluid and uh, uh, water is incompressible fluid. So at the end of the day, this video demonstrated two obvious things. Just perfect video. Until next one, goodbye.